What's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at Nordic Ashes, Survivors of Ragnarok. It's a Norse mythology inspired survivors like uh, with a lot of depth. So we just got to get into it. So we're going to play as Alex Dor. I have a kind of test this out a little bit. So I know a, a tiny bit. As you can see, we've got the nine realms here. Uh, as we go to start with level one, we've started normal. Let's just, let's just crack into it. Uh, we have manual auto aim, as you can see. This is me manually aiming. This is me auto aiming. It should attack, yeah. So right off the bat, one of these things, uh, one of the things that this uh, game has that's different from other survival likes is the level up system. Now we can press tab and we can see our constellation. This is the character we're playing with. Uh, depending on what starting relic you pick, I picked the, uh, the sword, you start on one of these two different things, which is kind of interesting. You can kind of tailor your character, but we get uh, level up points every time we level up and we can use those to upgrade this. So right now we can upgrade the sword and we're kind of upgrading this. We could re-roll this to get like a better thing, but pull down area. I, I do like area. Look, projectiles. Once we, once we get that, uh, we'll be doing three slashes, which is way better. Okay. So here's our first mini boss, I guess. Dies pretty easily. Another thing that this game does that other survivor likes don't is that see how we got damaged just then? You actually look in our top left corner. I tried to point at it with my mouse, but you can't see. Uh, it actually shows you our HP. Now we don't have a normal like HP bar, one to a hundred. Uh, we've only got kind of six hits, I guess. Five hits before we die. Agreed. So I'm leveling up. I'm not leveling up, but I'm now. Projectile damage is good. Pull down an area. Yep. Damage. Pull down. Pretty good. I do like area. It's because the bigger our attack is, the more we're gonna get. We can pick up money that we can use on a shop that's later on. So this is going to take us health to get this and health to leave. But I did have this on my previous run and it was pretty good. It it acts as a decoy and it just sits down. Some health dropped. Really important we get that health right now. So as you can see at the top we have a wave timer that indicates um, we're going to be fighting a wolf or a wolf-like entity. I don't know what this is. Whatever it is, it's dead. It's always nice. So we have eight. I do neglect these a little bit. Cooldown's good. Projectile's really good. Area and cooldown? Cool. Now, you might be thinking, why are you not going for damage? Well, the reason I'm not going for damage, uh, even though it's really good, is because I kind of want to just leave it. Because if you see here, our damage is 26 to 31, but this upgrade gives us more damage just, just generally. So you can kind of just leech off that a little bit. Okay, and this is, we've just got a boomerang level five. So that's, that's got a spawn. Relics are kind of the weapons in this game. I don't know if there's a limit on how many relics you can have. Uh, don't think there is, but who knows. We can, it looks like we can spend money to get, spend money to get money. Money's off in the shop today. 
discount. Pretty good. So once we get this, we can get to level 5 and that's it, max. We can't do anything with it. But we can begin kind of going down here. I should be breaking more crates because crates give consumables and drops. Also, coming over to these things. Messing with those mines. Give us a lot of gold. So as you see at the top, our wave, that little helmet, that's us. And that little skull is a mini boss. It's this guy. So he'll drop like like a lot of XP. Which is just nice. It's nice to have. Okay, so I'm gonna get some more damage here. I'm getting 5% damage. Okay, so these are a kind of a skill choice. We can either pick Berserker, which is gonna help us push back stuff, but it has a cooldown, or we can pick moose fury which is every time we get damaged we get more damage and also area so that's kind of good can't buy it because i'm poor so here this is another one of their kind of i don't know what you call this like a ritual but we have to stay in here for whatever it said on there 15 seconds it's gotta be easy and we're gonna get a loaf of bread which will give us an extra hard container very nice now hard containers are kind of useful especially if we want to like kind of get close to stuff okay here we go rat number two I want to collect this so we can buy this. A little bit of movement speed is good. So here comes our first boss. Boss of wave two. The scavenger king. So as you can see, it he has a... Oh. What an airsoft. So you can dodge. I forgot. You can press space. Ah, uh, but... The king falls and so do all of his subjects. Here's another thing. So when you finish something, you get given a uh, augmenter crystal. But right now, grants 50% kill on damage. Okay. Burning projectiles. Burn enemies have 25% chance to throw one fireball. Okay. What about here? Create fireballs that emerge from you? Okay. This is good. Oh, okay. So that, that that seems to be a an actival. We activate that. Okay, so we can come here and we can kind of level up. We can ascend this. So it becomes a longsword. Each attack gains ten percent. Um, we can also ascend this, the boomerang that we have. Each time you throw a boomerang, you had 50% of chance of attracting a lost one. So I'm going to go with that one. I want to see what that happens. We can also upgrade this. We've kind of been neglecting this a bit. Yeah, we just get some from off screen. That's very cool. Now we're on wave three, or we're on wave two, going towards wave three. Not quite sure. So does this say, yeah, we're at 2.5% because we took damage. That's kind of cool. You can generate a lot of strength, just kind of taking damage yourself. And that's, that's the only type of damage I'll take. What does this do? Reduce dash cooldown by 35%. Okay, cool. I didn't know there was a cooldown. Okay, so it's underneath us. That's where the dash cooldown is. 
It's gonna help us like dodge out of the way a little bit. I'm kind of going towards these. Okay, we got two bosses, two wolf. Ooh, a chest. I don't know what that does, but once we deal with all these, we'll go check it out. But what does the chest do? Okay, so it augments the stuff that we already have. I think, let's get the boomerang going. Why not? So even though we have, oh man, look at that. What a, what a bop. I feel like that should just come in when we're fighting a boss or something. Skull stuff, throw spectral skulls that damage enemies and can freeze. Okay, so this costs $5. Five points, I should say. Five XP. You can pick that up. Still don't know what these green things are, but in due time, I might figure them out. Okay, so, kind of halfway through, 10 minutes in, trying to get another level, just kind of chilling around here, we've got ravens now, both the red and blue attacking us, and some, some quite angry rockmen, I don't know what I did to piss them off, but sure. Level five. There we go. Skull staff, and it starts off at level five, which I think is really good. More damage and more things. So we've got a couple of synergistic um, relics, but nothing really too good. Okay, so I'm just going to take some damage if I can. That damage, get that buffs. Here, here we go, here we got the wolves again. Do their power. Nope, he died. Okay, it looks like we got some some elves, maybe some dark elves. My Norse mythology knowledge is up to date. It's it's not. <laughs> but they either look like dark elves or goblins. And I don't know if there's many goblins in North mythology. I don't know if I should be getting hit twice for that or just once. I also don't know if there's a map. But not really. Ooh. Skull stuff. Uh, I gotta go with the damage. It's probably our most damaging item. We've got 26 seeds. I'm guessing some kind of Yggdrasil seeds, the world tree. Find our way. Okay. Avard the destroyer. Okay. Ooh. He hit me. Wait. Use the fireball. Oh my god. It just keeps going. Quite low. What level? Throw the boomerangs. Okay. Bunch of level ups there. We go to our shop. We get our ascension crystal, and then arrowhead plus one projectiles. You can't say, can't say no to that. Dancing spear. Throw spears in the direction, in your direction, that pierces all enemies. Sure. Why not? Enemies have... Nah. 
We don't really need that. I don't know what this Noki does, or Gronky, or whatever his name is. Seems to maybe level up when you... Okay, so your direction does not mean what you're attacking. The way that you're aiming. Okay, we got 9 XP, so... Let's start unlocking some things. Did want to level up this though. Area is good. Projectiles. Area. Perfect. Bam. Max. Yeah, we have access to this. It costs a lot. Uh, we should start leveling up this. But we do have access to an ascension crystal, so we can have a look at what this does. Spears now fire at... at Spears now fire at... At an angle and the cooldown disappears. Not quite sure I understand that. It means that I have a 10% chance of creating another. That's kind of cool. But. Um. I think I wanna. I wanna just hold. I hold for a little bit. Like, The two dollars. Okay, we're on wave four. We're holding strong. I kind of would like a something that sucks up all the EXP that I've just left around. Um, that would be really, really nice. Some more rats. So maybe the next, like, boss, or whatever, is going to be a darker. More damage. Sure. Put all your eggs in one boomerang. What is this? Double dash? I'll take it. Otherwise known as panic. With panic, you know, pain's right around the corner. Here comes Wolf Boy. Dead. Thank you. Thank you for your XP. Goodbye. We we unlock the stick. Very nice. Now I'm gonna go down for a little bit because I seem to have gone up quite a lot. Tactical. Now, is that working how I think it is? It is. Okay. I'm doing good. Oh, look. These guys have now... The uh, Dark Elves, or whatever they are, have evolved. They now have swords. Instead of she uh, spears, which... Arguably, spears would probably be better. <laughs> the longer you can keep the enemy away from you, the better. coming in here okay, eight right so this is what I wanted to do burn damage then unlock the lava boots and then ascend the lava boots because fire moves towards enemies and it gets increased and then we want duration of kind of let's projectile speed So kind of lava boots I had before kind of reminded me of the holy water from Vampire Survivors. And right now, this game does not feel like a Vampire Survivors clone. Um, it's just okay. Thank you. Don't you Lord Ragnar. Hello, sir. Is that because we got to 20 minutes? Hmm. Hey, he's throwing purple. We're in... We're doing all right. What's that? Right. Okay. We roll. He doesn't know that I have another roll. Also, I'm a survivor's like player. 
I roll everywhere. Yeah, he's doing some, like, infinite swords. He's watching too much Fate Stay. Yuga mission. Okay. Yuga Cell leave. Plus one. Plus two. Plus five. Difficulty unlocked hard. Uh, Ascension unlock explosion. Okay. Play your first game to earn five Yigra Cell seeds. We unlocked Alfheim. Alf Alfheim? That's the elf area if I, if I know. Okay, bam. So, Boomerang doing mad damage for us. Unlocked a bunch of stuff. I don't wanted to get the boots going, but it's okay. It is what it is. So, that was our first uh, fight, but we have eight Yggdrasil Cell leaves. And it's very nice that we have this kind of slot mechanic up here, so you can switch between uh, slots. And yeah, so we can spend our leaves to kind of augment our runs. Uh, we can also turn seedlings into leaves, I'm guessing. Yeah. Bam. Look at all that. And we have 24 leaves. That's a lot of leaves. Obelisks now appear in every realm. They grant powerful buffs. Okay. Why not? What about healing? Get a blue heart when you reach uh, Gronk's level. That's what his name now, is now. I don't make the rules. Attack speed, so stuff that's just good. Another game with gold, don't think we ne need gold. Level points is okay, but more experience. This is what I like, like more experience. This is what I like. Now this. Do I need, oh yeah, I can. 50% XP attraction. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, and yeah, so that was Nordic Ashes. Survivors of Ragnarok. So we leveled up this dude. I'm guessing we get to choose stuff. Yeah, so we have a mastery point for getting a level. And there's, like I said, there's multiple different menus on top of menus, mechanics of, on top of mechanics, and I think it's, it's really cool. Like at the end of the dash, an explosion would create that inflicts damage. That's really cool. Over here, we can have masteries for our things. And I'm guessing we can, can we switch this? Yeah, we can. Cool. As you see, I started with the uh, nagling, the sword, but you can also start with the ax and the hammer and this kind of changes how you play. Uh, we've got this person who has a bow kind of the archer and then of course and the magic user but obviously everyone has to kind of complete the realm if we come into here and there's also Ragnarok uh, where you complete against other players to see who gets the highest score nightmare extra long run custom and adventure so we unlocked normal we unlocked hard by completing normal uh, when we play hard, we get 60% more leave drops. Uh, enemies are stronger, larger hordes, new elites, bosh and flicks, more damage, and go uh, and get on berserk mode. Kind of cool. It seems here that we can only get a thousand seeds from here. So I guess once you get to a point, farm this for a little bit, then yeah, or well, you can come to Alfine, which. Uh, it seems like maybe a thousand seeds are only for everything. But this is 15, so it's I'm guessing it's harder. But we can also play on hard. Okay, cool. So once you unlock a, a difficulty, you unlock it for everything. And there's also a bunch of different things, different characters to unlock by doing stuff. Uh, also, one final thing before we leave. You can press F to change skin. And that gives you a different character and it gives you a different uh, relic. 
I'm not quite sure if this does anything. But it could be like another level on top of everything. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you liked it, Nordic Ashes is out now. Survivors of Ragnarok is its subtitle. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.